All right, the next uh, currency pair I want to take a look at is this pound versus US dollar. And I'm going to start off by taking a look at the daily chart. And if we look at this uh, chart, we saw uh, in trading last week that the uh, price action was up and down, up and down. Uh, we, we had the Bank of England a decision on Thursday and we hit our high on Thursday, but came down, down and retested the Monday and Tuesday lows uh, on Friday before bouncing higher and um, finding, uh, it's sort of en entering in, uh, or closing in the middle of the trading range from Friday's trade. Now, if we take a, a longer term view of the pound versus US dollar, and I put a box around this area right through here, we can see that the uh, price has a nice little ceiling, ceiling way up here. This is a longer term uh, view of the pound, pound, and we have pretty good ceiling up near the 125 level, 124.47. Seven, so really 124 and a half on the downside uh, you can uh, say that we have a uh, support down here near uh, the 117 uh, 59 level up to 11840 that's our key support here here and in between we have the 100 and 200 day moving average now in the month of March we moved back above the 100 day moving average and apart from this little dip right here which failed uh, we reestablished support against the 100 day moving average so overall we're in the upper end of this range right here and above the 100 day moving average, it gives us a little bit more of a bullish bias for the pound versus US dollar. So let's keep that in mind as we head to the hourly chart. If we look at the hourly chart, this is our move to the upside in the month of, uh, of March. Uh, big, uh, nice uh, little trend move to the upside, move up and then correct down, move up, correct down. Now the correction that we saw on Friday, what do we do? We found support right against the 200 hour moving average. That's this green line in the chart right here. And if you can see, see if we go back in time to this last correction right here, where do we find support? A 200 hour moving average. So each of the corrective moves to the downside in the month of March have so far found support right against a 200 hour moving average. That gives me a little bit more of a bullish, or gives me more of a bullish bias going in the pound versus US dollar, maybe a little bit more than a little, uh, but uh, the the um, uh, there is some still work to do on the top side because we did come off of that high pretty not you know well in some respects convincingly to the downside off of Thursday's high so we did see the corrective move to the da downside here but we are finding the 200 hour moving average the other thing that keeps us a little bit more in uh, the buyer or the sellers a little bit more in play and maybe a little neutral in the really really short term is that we are below the 100 hour moving average. So as long as the 200 hour moving average can hold support and this swing area right here, by the way, uh, you can you can just visualize this was re this was a ceiling fell below the ceiling, failed to reestablish support here. And we came back down to the floor right here and found support. So th uh, this is good, but we need to get above the two the 100 hour moving average here at 122.59. If we get above that level and get above these highs right through through here as well that would open up the door for further upside and retest of the move to the upside. So overall, more bullish uh, here for the pound versus US dollar. Still needs some, a bounce back above the 100 hour moving average to open the door for further upside. If we fail and we move below the 200 hour moving average, that would be a change in the uh, bias. Uh, in the short term, at least, we'd look toward the 38.2 and then we'd uh, come and look toward our 100 day moving average on the downside. That's uh, the overlay right here near the one. 20.847. But right now, buyers are still more in control. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune through trading. Bye-bye now.